All right, Algebra 2, so one thing that I recommend is watching the percent decrease video before watching the percent increase video because I think that one I went a tiny bit more in depth. This one I'm going to go in depth in maybe a different way. So uh, maybe after these both these videos, you'll have a better understanding of how to write problems that are either decreasing or increasing. All right, so if you notice in this problem let's say you bought a signed Russell Wilson jersey for a hundred dollars in 2013 every year the value of the jersey is going to increase by 12 percent how much will the jersey be worth after let's say two years we'll just stick to two years so the other jersey it was a situation where the value of a jersey was going down a bit now we're going to look at a situation where uh, the, the the jersey is increasing right Russell Wilson is getting more popular every year So every year the value of the jersey is going to increase by 12% every year So if we want to find out let's just use the very same method that uh, we did the last couple times Is if you want to find out how much uh, the Russell Wilson jersey will be worth in two years Well, let's find out how much it's going to be worth after one year. So we start with a hundred Let's oops. Let me go ahead and I made a minor mistake. Hold on here we go. All right. Let's say uh, we have, so we know that it's increasing by 12% every year. So we have 12%. All right. Well, let's turn that to a decimal. That's 12% divided by 100% is 0.12. All right. Now we want to find out how much the jersey is going to be worth after the first year. So we're going to get 100 times 0.12. So 100 times 0.12. And we get twelve dollars. All right. So we know that after the first year, it's going to increase by twelve dollars. So we're going to get a hundred plus twelve, and then we know that the jersey is going to be worth a hundred and twelve dollars after the first year. Well, now let's find out how much it's going to be worth for the second year. So after the first year, it's worth a hundred and twelve dollars. So the next year, we're going to get. Uh, $112 times 0.12 because it's increasing by 12% every year. So one, one, uh, $112 times 0.12 is 13.44. So now the jersey is worth even more the second year, right? Because he's getting more popular. So we're going to get 112 plus 13.44 uh, cents. And we're going to get one... Um, this should add up to approximately 125 oops that looks like a 6 125.44 cents all right so that's how much the jersey is going to be worth after the second year all right well let's try to talk to each other about how can we find a way to maybe find a shortcut in doing this and this is again where exponential functions come into play because what if I ask you how much a jersey will be worth after I don't know let's say 25 years having to repeat this entire process can get a little bit time consuming so we want to kind of find a way to go about it alright so we know uh, one thing that we could do is we know for a fact that uh, we want to write an equation let's say y is equal to I'll use a different color let's say um, we have our exponential equation a times b to the x alright so let's just go ahead we know a is our starting value which we know that to be 100 now b is going to be the percentage we keep alright so we know for a fact that we are going to keep, no matter what, we're going to keep 100% of its value. We're going to keep the $100 in the bank, right, no matter what. So we're going to keep 100%, 100% of its value. And we're going to increase every year by 12%. This comes out to 112%. If we turn that to a decimal, we divide by 100, and we're going to get that this equals uh, 1.12 now this is our const this is our constant multiplier it remember it's the percentage we keep so we're keeping hundred and twelve percent we turn that to a decimal so now we're going to get y is equal to 100 times 1.12 raised to the x alright x represents time now if you wanted to we could just like before 100 times 1.12 uh, raised to the first power is going to be a hundred and twelve dollars 
you you can even do it with yourself and you'll see that this is true that we're going to get here is 100 times 1.12 to the second power and we're going to get the uh we're going to get the 125 point four four dollars okay so this is a way that we could write it using exponential equations again the a is our starting value and the b is the percentage we keep well we're keeping a hundred percent of its value plus twelve percent of its value all right all right well if we look over here now i'm going to come up here so that you can see this we have a hundred plus twelve we can rewrite this problem all right, so we have 100 plus 12, and we get the $112. So if you notice, one thing that we can do is we have 100. I'm going to use a different color, actually. Let's go ahead and use uh, purple. We have 100. All right, so the 100 is this right here. All right, because we're starting off with 100. And then we're going to get plus 100 times 0.12. So if you notice 100 times 0.12, that's just the 12. That's where the 12 comes from, right? All right, so one thing that I want to show you is uh, if you look here, I'm basically going to go backwards. And at first it's going to seem a little weird, but you're going to understand what I'm doing here. 1 plus 0.12. This right here, I'm rewriting it as 100 times parentheses 1 plus 1.2 now to show you that this makes sense I'll go ahead and just redistribute it 100 times 1 is 100 plus 100 times 0.12 so we get 100 times 0.12 all right so you see here this is the exact same thing that we have right up here let me go ahead and erase it. That's just for you to see all right I'm just getting fancy with it but we know 1 plus 1.2 is 100 plus 1.12 right 1 plus 0.12 is the same as 1.112 so 100 times 1.112 is the hundred and twelve dollars so if you look down below this 1.112 is exactly what we got over here because we did a hundred plus a twelve percent but even if we look over here it's the exact same thing that we did right over here 100 times 0.12 to get the $12 and then we're going to get a hundred dollars from what the jersey started with plus the $12 that it's going to gain after the first year to get 112 that's just the same thing it's the exact same thing even mathematically over here 100 plus uh, 100 times 0.12 is the same thing as 100 times 1 plus 1.2 all I did was just basically undistribute. I took the 100 out of each term here, and and we we kind of see that it makes sense because we could have went ahead and distributed, and we would have just get back to up here, but we didn't because I wanted to show you that 1 plus 112 is the exact same thing right below here. All right. So hopefully that helps. Once again, when you're dealing with problems that increases, you just do your you having 100% of its value plus 12% of the value you keep. And then that gives you your constant multiplier, divide by 100, and then you put it into your equation with starting value, and you get this right here. All right, hopefully this helps to clear that up.